Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's your girl, Coco Styles. And on this channel, we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling. Today, we are going to get into a new item that I purchased for myself. So this item, let me just get the bag, guys. Let's just grab the bag. Okay. I wanted to do a separate video for this because I wanted to go through the reasons why I actually chose this bag um, and the size of the bag and the color. So let's get into it. Ah, girls, let me tell you. Did y'all see that? Okay, let me get into the bag. Let me open the bag. <laughs> I'm just gonna open it over here on the side and then just pull it out for you guys. So this is, I'm just gonna show y'all. Hold on. And I've been kind of like not shopping, shopping and purchasing like really, really big high ticket items. Um, just personal goal, trying to get some coins together for something um, and just had a little willpower, trying not to shop. So if you need a buddy to help you not shop, I'm your girl. So let's pull this out. Such a big box. <clears throat> let me grab, let me actually just grab this. Sorry guys. Move the bag, cause it's so big. And grab the card. So it's a Fendi first bag. Um, of course this is just the receipt and stuff. Now you can still get these on the pre-loved pre market. I just wanted one that was new, but I think what I am gonna do is try to get a midi size one. Um, if you guys don't know, originally they only had the small and the medium, which is what I got. And now they have a midi size, and I'll break that down. So I did have to order it because the location that I went to here didn't have this size. No, they didn't have this size um in this color so i ended up just purchasing it and just getting it sent to my home um but this is just the receipt and stuff and let's see i'm trying to see if it has the color it's like a i'll show y'all are y'all excited <laughs> sorry i just bull crap for a little bit of a minute let me just open it here now as far as packaging Packaging is just simple, the big box, and it just comes in this dust bag. Nothing spectacular. Um, and it wasn't another bigger box. And they also had it in the, the, the Fendi bag as well. So that was a plus. Woohoo! Girls, let's get into this real quick. Let me show y'all. So this is the bag. Okay, on camera is giving. It's like a really pretty camel color. Let me just come up a little closer. Okay. There's no feet on the bottom. Which, for those of you guys who like the feet, this is not for you. Um, again, the strap is shorter than the midi and the small, and it's thicker. All right. I'm gonna just step back so you guys can see how it looks on me as a six foot tall woman. If I wanted to wear it like a clutch, these do come off nice and easy. It's my nails, guys, hold on. Comes off. To open the bag, it's a little snap here. You just press it down and it looks like that on the inside. Okay, and the snap part. So one thing I do love about this is the hook piece right here. This goes back inside the bag. So you take it, take it, pull it out, and you just like turn it, turn it in so it's not sticking out, which I love. There are bags that come with a strap but the hooks still stick out. So that was really smart of them to do that. Inside just has the, the Fendi logo, the regular monogram, 
inside still very very nice um, now why did I choose this particular bag I'm gonna get into some more specs in a second so I chose this size one because I'm tall and the medium the midi is more recent that they came out with it's a really it's a good size but I wanted the strap to be a little bit thicker for my height the small is extremely small hold on guys so the small is extremely small um that is something that I would wear like for dinner at night um this I would probably carry it to like brunch or something like that I carry more stuff in the daytime um then you have the midi which is slightly bigger than the small not super big but the strap is longer what I did notice about the strap on those bags was that on my shoulder is sat right here so I don't think it would be a good crossbody for me there was a little bit of space for you to poke more holes in it if you take it to like a shoe cobbler or something that's why I opted for this one I just felt like this bag will look better on someone who is six feet tall let me close this someone who is six feet tall the black okay the leather is really nice guys the black bag was nice that was my first choice was the black bag the reason why I didn't get it because in the store I literally saw him open the top and cause a scratch so for me I felt like there are bags that I have that are very delicate but there are they are a lot of color which is my monster Gavrielle which is very affordable but it's lambskin as well and inside of the bag is leather very soft but I got a white color and I got like a kind of like a topish color so these bags kind of all have like a sip they're all in the neutral family but different shades of neutral um this is kind of like a I don't know it's caram it's caramel like a camp camel color but a little bit darker so I still do have the plastic on here um on both sides but because I haven't worn it yet but it's such a nice bag guys now again the bag was literally scratching up before my eyes in the store so I was just like mm -hmm. I'm not gonna do the black I'm gonna get a color that that still goes with my wardrobe if you don't know I wear a lot of neutral colors I'm very like I don't want to say plain but I do my eye tends to go towards neutral my pop of color in my wardrobe is likely red um, I do not consider like army green or anything like that a pop of color because it goes with everything else so red is like my pop this color is my neutral okay let me know what you guys think so as someone who's six feet tall I think this is a perfect size the midi is nice as well guys don't think that I didn't like it but I did want something a little bit bigger if I want to get another one I would get a midi well the small is the one that has really really nice colors they have a ton of colors and yeah these pants are a little snug today <laughs> um but I love it I love it a lot guys now as far as the price <laughs> let me just grab my phone really quick mm. no as far as the price I want to say it was 34 before taxes the smallest 3190 the midi is 3490 and the medium is 3750 very nice bags again the small has a ton of colors and styles it does come with a strap uh, but if you are six feet tall, it may just be a little bit too small for you to wear a strap and I'm just being honest with you if you want something that is more Every day the midi I think it's a good size. It does have that strap. But again, 
you can switch the strap but if you if you're over my height it's gonna sit kind of high on you and you may not like it so don't don't waste your money on that it did have like another neutral color which is like the the dove color but I already had something similar I didn't want to buy that one and then of course they got like Python um, they got like they got a lot of nice colors in the small this midi they only have three colors which is this color here black and pink now the pink is not ugly but it's not something that I wear often so I wouldn't spend my money on it and again the small just has like a ton ton of beautiful colors like stuff with furs python um, crocodile which those are like 25 grand um they got some with mohair they got some with ostr ostr ostrich leather <laughs> um what else some mink they have they got they have some really really nice one i thought i saw like a mint green one maybe they just don't have it anymore i could have sworn i saw that one but they're really 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 nice bags if you don't want to spend full price go to fashion file um, and just get like excellent or new um, you could probably still get a really good deal on them but this is my new baby in my closet I absolutely love it and sometimes you gotta treat yourself I've been chilling like I said not really buying a bunch of things just on some personal goal type of thing but I had to get this but this is new in my closet guys very very quick video I think this is pretty easy to open so I would recommend like holding it I can't even do it while I'm standing because <laughs> if you hold it on both sides and just pull it open you're fine but if you have like nails and stuff try your best not to scratch the leather yes pull it out and then just turn it down you guys can see that very easy nice 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 bag I'm very happy with my purchase I'm glad that I got it if you don't want to spend this much again definitely try the pre-love market I wouldn't recommend black because it's probably gonna have scratches on it uh, but maybe one of the lighter colors maybe something that has a tougher leather texture like one of the Python ones um, just I would recommend something lighter black is nice it's really nice but if you don't want to risk it getting scratched up and stuff definitely go for a lighter color guys let me know what you guys think it's nice it's really my speed of bag nothing crazy but just a short video guys I thank you guys for tuning in I'm just gonna show you guys some shots of the bag up close so you guys can see what it actually looks like up close the light is like taken away from the color again it doesn't have any feet on the bottom this is my hand it's probably about two, two and a, one and a half well not one and a half but <laughs> okay it's a really really nice bag the light is terrible right now it's so sunny and that's the back okay nice nice leather really really nice bag then you got your thing on the top to open it up press that in your two hooks when you want to wear the strap when you want to take the strap off you take that off but it's really nice but that's it guys a quick little video on my new end my Fendi first bag this is the first bag for the year and we are in April so that's pretty good <laughs> I probably won't get too crazy this year but like I said it was on my wish list for a while and I just finally was like let me just bite the bullet and I should have done it some years ago because it looks like it has gone up a hundred I want to say 200 but I'm gonna say a hundred dollars each year so keep that in mind if you are looking to buy this bag if you don't want to get it pre love definitely think about the price increase it's not alarming but 
$100 is still something. <laughs> so think about that if you are thinking about something like this. Again, black is beautiful. However, I feel like it gets scratched up quickly and that was just me in the store with the bag. So thank you guys for tuning into this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little unboxing and I will catch you guys in the next one. If you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco We See You and guys don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY and my personal style blog Coco Styles NYC and my style services Coco Styles NY and I'm on tickety tickety talk coco styles nyc and i will catch you guys in the next one bye guys